hey everybody, something smells fishman around here and we're gonna get to the bottom of it. Welcome everybody to Guitar Tone Central. Today, something smells Fishman around here. We got Fishman Fluence pickups in the house. Something cool that we haven't had before and um, they're active pickups, a little different. Usually we're testing and demoing passive pickups and we got some really cool features of these particular pickups we're gonna talk about in depth so you can really learn how they work, what they do. Before we do that though, we greatly appreciate you being here today and we also appreciate it if you would click down below to share, like and subscribe to our channel as well as click the notification bell so that you can find out exactly when our episodes are available. So today's episode, we're very excited about this because we're gonna talk about the Fishman Fluence pickups. Now the Fluence pickup is an active and it's shaped just like a regular humbucker, fits in the same humbucker opening that any of your passive pickups would be in. But as an active, of course, you have to have a battery in your guitar for it. So standard guitars, it's possible to modify them. You know, we have a Somnium guitar here, an SS model, that's already set up with a battery. They all come default with it, so we can snap in any pickup we want. So what are we talking about here with the Fluence? There are other active pickups out there. Some of you are familiar with like the EMG, uh, 81, 60 combinations, they've 81, 85. They've been around for decades. Great pickups, but Fishman did something a little bit different. What they did was they gave the pickup voices. Okay, what, what they call voices is kind of what you would think of in a passive pickup as coil tapping. It's not quite the same, uh, but because they don't have wire coils, the Fishmans have circuit boards with layered loops on them to create the, the, the sound. And in order to coil tap, what, what they've done is they've created voices. So that means you have your standard voice, they call voice one, that gives you your full on humbucking mode. That's what the pickup is, in, it's in full swing, all, all in, all eight cylinders, okay? Voice two is an option that darkens the tone a little bit. And now it does, it darkens it in a certain way. There is a third, option for these pickups, which is called a treble tilt. So what that kind of is, is a treble cut. It softens the treble if you want a little bit less highs, but okay, but darkening the sound, isn't that the same thing as darkening the sound? You're taking away some of the treble. Well, but you're taking it, it kind of, but it takes it away in a different fashion. You have a different EQ curve. So where you're maybe cutting, it's maybe more noticeable in the, the highs and mids, but not as much in the lower strings and the lower frequencies, whereas voice two is, does also cut the highs some, but it's more noticeable in the low frequencies. So you have three choices really of how to, how to voice and, and, and get tones out of these pickups. Even better, there's even a fourth option that is on the back of the pickup itself, there's an option to reduce the gain of the pickup. And that there's a jumper that you can put a, across two pins on the back of it. So if you feel you want lower output, you can mod it, put the jumper on, and there'll be a little bit low output. But normally, run it the way they designed it, and we've set up this Somnium guitar with switches. So we got for the bridge and for the neck, we have the option to go voice two. Well, voice one is your middle position, so that's your default. And then we can choose voice two, is one way of cutting some of the treble and modifying the EQ curve, or down modifies it the other way, tilts the treble. That's their terminology. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some exploring. Let's go find out what these switches do. Now I'm gonna tell you that the difference here is very noticeable on clear channel. So we've got our Mesa Boogie Express 550 through a Celestian speaker. And we're gonna play it clean. We don't have any effects on it as usual. We're gonna leave, we're gonna leave the tone knob all the way up on treble. And let's see what uh, we'll play. Because it's a little bit on the treble side, we're trying to hear those 
treble cuts and changes. Let's play something clean and play it, you know, play it on the treble strings. Here we go. That's voice one on the bridge pickup. Very noticeable, isn't it? Very noticeable. Let's go back to voice one and then let's try the, uh, the treble tilt feature. Now that also kind of made it more subtle in a little bit different way. Let's compare, let's listen to the treble cut which we're on and then I'll go straight to voice two. Let's size it up a little bit. You could hear a shift in that, in that tone. A little different, it almost sounded maybe a little brighter on voice two. Had a little bit more presence, I would say. Let's try the same thing on the neck pickup. Okay, so we're still on voice one for the neck pickup. Oh yeah, we're on the neck pickup. Voice two. Subtle difference, more subtle. Let's try that again. Voice one. Very noticeable difference. Let's let's do the uh, treble cut on on the neck pickup. Okay, so we're gonna start off on voice one. Now that treble tilt is what they call it. It sounded actually a little more trebly to me, going from voice one to the treble tilt. But there's no question that it changed the character of the tone. Uh, no matter which way we went, you're really getting three different options out of one pickup, which is pretty killer, okay? And, and it's actually very easy to set up with the, uh, the little uh, double throw, dual throw toggles that we have. You could do this mod pretty simply for your guitar. And these switches can also function as the coil split, okay? Because if you're using a coil split, you're gonna get a similar effect. You're gonna get two different tones out of uh, going from one coil to the humbucking two coils. So these switches in the guitar can be used either way for passives or actives. Let's, uh, let's put a little overdrive on it and see what we got, see how noticeable it is. So we're gonna do voice one on the treble pickup, on the bridge pickup, rather, okay? Voice two. I 
I don't know if you can hear it just now as I flip back, you can hear a little bit of a darkening, but it's not nearly as noticeable as on clean tones. Not nearly as noticeable. Let's, let's try the uh, treble cut on the bridge pickup. special effects time, manual style. You notice that, let me do that with the, the uh, treble tilt. You don't hear it with the treble tilt, but you do notice it from voice one to voice two. So that gives you an array of options, and the same thing's gonna happen with the neck pickup, is we're gonna get that, uh, that more noticeable, but still subtle difference on your voice one and voice two. Let's do uh, I didn't really notice hardly any difference between those two. Let's add the treble cut. Voice one now. Yeah, I, I could play with that all day. Um, but that's just me. I, my hat's on too tight today, maybe. But it works, okay? You do hear a subtle difference, but it's subtle. So for those of you who are expecting maybe um, a big change between the voices on the Fishman Fluence in Overdrive, this gives you an idea of just how much of a difference it would be. And those of you who are looking to use the Fishmans for a clean tone, now you know the difference in the voices and the treble tilt that you'll get on the clean side. So hopefully that's been a little bit enlightening. Actually, let's go play them in the middle position just so we can hear these fluences together. Give you an idea. We'll play, uh, we'll do clean. Flip them both to voice two. That kind of brought the level down, right? Back to voice one. Both on treble tilt. Yeah, that's kind of a, I call it a nasally tone. It sometimes is great. I mean, that's what you want to get that kind of a brighter, tighter sound but a very noticeable difference. So that gives you a bit of the flavor compared to, uh, we'll compare the middle to the treble because I think it's actually the interesting thing about these. Let's put them on voice one. So you go down on the bridge, it's a lot thinner, obviously with the neck combined. You got much more of that mid sound. And on the bridge, uh, I'm sorry, on the neck only, it gets darker, but it doesn't get muddy, which is great because you don't want mud. So that's a nice, nice feature. You got clarity in all three, in all three positions and no mud. So it smells fishmen around here and that's a good thing. And we appreciate you being here with us to explore this and check out these features. And if you like what you see, please leave some comments down below. And if you have any questions about these, if you want a little bit more explanation or uh, there's some pickups out there you want us to try out and demo for you, please let us know, comment down below. Once again, I'm Mark from Guitar Tone Central. Thank you very much for being here and we'll see you again next time.